Let's cross uh, to Kyiv then, talk to our correspondent Gulliver Craig, who joins us from there. Gulliver, I mean, the Russian offensive is really taking its toll, isn't it? Where's the latest uh, fighting as far as you're hearing? Well, the Ukrainian general staff's report this morning sounded a bit like a repetition of yesterday's morning report. They say that they pushed back a ground offensive near the locality of Dolina, which is to the northwest of Slovyansk. It seems generally that they are managing for the moment to stop the Russians advancing on the ground, but the Russians, as you said, are supporting their attacks with these massive artillery bombardments. Yesterday, in particular, in Slovyansk, a market in the city centre was hit. Two people died. Seven were injured and there are bombardments on Slovyansk, Bakhmut and Kramatorsk all the time. Those are the three main cities in Donetsk region that are still in Ukrainian hands. And elsewhere in the country as well, there have been attacks in the west. It was the turn of Khmelnytsky region overnight to be hit. Also, there's been still quite intense fighting and bombardment in Kharkiv region. I was talking yesterday to a soldier who was fighting in Kharkiv region uh, until very recently. She was now... Um, in Kiev for some training and she said that the Ukrainian counteroffensive there which seemed to hold so much promise about six weeks ago I guess it is now really completely stalled and soldiers were there basically stuck in their trenches suffering really intense bombardments uh, and uh, with uh, little chance of advancing or of having any kind of break. So with all that going on Gulliver what do we know of the morale of the Ukrainian troops? Well, I think all across the country there is a feeling that this is an existential war for Ukraine and that people basically have to keep their morale up and they're doing their best to do so. But it's extremely difficult when you're suffering such intense attacks and you know that the enemy has got artillery superiority, as the government um, has said. You know, experts say that no soldier should spend more than two weeks under this kind of heavy shelling to avoid getting shell shock. Many Ukrainian soldiers have been spending much longer than that. And so those psychological effects are really making themselves felt on some people. And what this soldier yesterday was saying as well as that although faith in the kind of overall general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces is reasonably high, there are problems at the level of junior officers who themselves don't really have the experience that is needed to um, help keep the morale up and reassure new recruits, people who've just been mobilised, who can very, very quickly, even if they arrive in the army strongly motivated, they can very, very quickly become extremely afraid, panic and, and lose their morale when they see um, their, their colleagues being injured and killed in such great numbers. Gulliver, thanks very much. Gulliver Crank joining us there from Kiev.